Imagine being a young American pilot in 1941, thousands of miles from home, flying over the rugged mountains of Burma, now Myanmar, and China, engaged in a life-or-death struggle against a superior enemy force. That's exactly what the Flying Tigers did. These young volunteer pilots were recruited by Claire L. Chennault, and they took on the might of the Japanese Air Force in a daring, against-the-odds campaign that became legendary. Hello everyone, and welcome to Infinite Altitudes. Today we bring you the story of the Flying Tigers, the unsung heroes of World War II who changed the course of the war in the Pacific. Stick with us to find out how they came together, what they flew, and how they achieved the impossible. The story of the Flying Tigers begins in the late 1930s, as Japan expanded its empire across Asia, invading China and bringing devastation to the region. China, desperate for support, found an ally in a man named Claire L. Cheneau, a retired U.S. Army Air Corps officer with a vision for defending China against Japan's air superiority. Cheneau believed that with the right strategy and pilots, China could take on the powerful Japanese Air Force. So, in 1941, with the tacit approval of the U.S. government, Cheneau began recruiting American pilots to form a volunteer air force. These pilots would be trained and sent to China to aid in the fight against Japan. Even before America officially entered World War II, they became known as the American Volunteer Group, or more famously, the Flying Tigers. But who were these men? The Flying Tigers were made up of adventurous, patriotic American pilots, many of whom came from the U.S. Army Air Corps, Navy, and Marine Corps. They were all volunteers, lured by the thrill of flying in combat and the promise of adventure. Many of them were seasoned pilots, but some had never seen actual combat before. They left behind their lives in the U.S. and headed into the unknown. They would fly the Curtis P-40 Warhawk, a powerful fighter plane known for its iconic shark-faced nose art. It wasn't the fastest or the most maneuverable plane, but it packed a punch with its heavy armament, and in the right hands, it could dominate the skies. The Flying Tigers were tasked with defending the skies over Burma and China. Their primary mission? To protect Chinese supply lines and disrupt Japanese bombing campaigns. Japan had dominated the air war over China, and Cheneau's volunteers were about to face an overwhelming enemy force. The odds were stacked against them, but Cheneau had a secret weapon, strategy. Unlike traditional air combat tactics, Cheneau believed in using guerrilla-style hit-and-run tactics. The Flying Tigers were trained to take off in small groups, strike fast, and retreat before the enemy could respond. It was risky, but it played to the strengths of the P-40 Warhawk and its pilots. Their first real test came in December 1941, when Japan launched an attack on the Chinese city of Kunming. The Flying Tigers took to the skies, outnumbered and flying into the teeth of one of the world's most advanced air forces, the Japanese Zero. It wasn't an easy fight. The Japanese planes were faster and more maneuverable, but the Flying Tigers had training, tactics, and grit. They shot down several Japanese planes and protected the city from further devastation. This marked the beginning of a series of successful air engagements against the Japanese Air Force. If you're enjoying this story, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more stories on aviation and flying. Your support helps us continue bringing you these incredible stories. But victory didn't come without setbacks. The Flying Tigers faced logistical challenges on a daily basis. Supply lines were thin, spare parts for their planes were scarce, and they often had to repair battle-damaged aircraft using whatever was available. On top of that, they were operating in harsh environments, jungle airstrips in Burma, high-altitude missions over the Himalayas, and dangerous weather conditions. Despite these obstacles, the Flying Tigers pushed forward. They knew the stakes were high. If they failed, China's resistance against Japan could collapse. As the months went on, the Flying Tigers racked up an impressive string of victories. Their tactics paid off, and they began to disrupt Japanese bombing raids and supply lines. One of their most significant victories came during the defense of the Burma Road, 
a vital supply route connecting China with the outside world. The Flying Tigers successfully intercepted waves of Japanese bombers and fighters, shooting down dozens of enemy planes and preventing the destruction of the Burma Road. This victory had a massive impact on the war effort, keeping the supply lines open for Chinese forces. We hope that you're enjoying this story, and you will like this video and subscribe for more stories on aviation and flying. Your support helps us continue bringing you these incredible stories. By the time the Flying Tigers were officially integrated into the U.S. Army Air Forces in 1942, they had become legends. Their kill ratio of 296 enemy planes destroyed for only 14 pilots lost in combat was nothing short of extraordinary, considering the odds they faced. They proved that determination, strategy, and courage could triumph over a more powerful enemy. The Flying Tigers didn't just make an impact during the war. Their legacy has lived on for decades. Their daring exploits inspired future generations of pilots, and their iconic shark-nosed planes became symbols of defiance and bravery. Today, we remember them as some of the greatest heroes of World War II, a small group of volunteers who took on an impossible mission and emerged victorious. The story of the Flying Tigers is a powerful reminder that even in the darkest of times, courage and resilience can shine through. These volunteer pilots stood up when the world needed them most, and their story continues to inspire. That's all for today, folks. If you found this video fascinating, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more incredible stories from history. Let us know in the comments what you think about the Flying Tigers and stay tuned for more legendary tales from World War II. Your support helps us continue bringing you these incredible stories.